Hello friends, this video on probability part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 31. Take home example, bag contains 10 balls, each marked with 1 digit, 0 to 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If 4 balls are drawn with replacement, so it's again a independent event in the back, what is the probability that none of them is marked with 0. So let's assume that success is marked with 0. With zero. So my probability of success will become 1 by 10 because one of the balls is marked with 0 and probability of failure is 9 by 10. We have to find the probability of not even a single is marked with 0. That is I have to find probability of x equal to 0. That is n is what? There are 4 balls drawn. 4 c0. Success is 1 by 10 to the power 0. Failure is 9 by 10 to the power 4 minus 0. So if we solve that this comes out to be 9 by 10 to the power 4. And that is the answer. Simple one. Let's take one example in examination. 20 questions are true false type. A student tosses a coin and to determine the question whether what is the answer he should give. If head, he answers tail. Right? If tail, this guy gives false. Find the probability that he answers at least 12 questions correctly. Correct. That is the question probability we have. Correctly in the sense true. Find the question uh, probability that this guy is having 12 questions marked as true. Okay. So let's suppose that success is getting true. So probability of success is 1 by 2 and probability of failure is 1 by 2 because you are tossing a coin. So half times you get uh, true, half times you get false. Right. So I am looking for probability of at least 12, that is x equal to 12 plus 30 till 20, right? It can be 12, 30, because the question is the minimum 12 he should go true. He can give 13 also true, 20 also true. So this is nothing but n is 20, 20 c x that is 12, probability of this guy is 12. So let's find uh, p x to the power x first. This is nothing but n that is 20 c x 1 by 2 to the power x 1 by 2 to the 20 minus x right because failure and uh, success is same here so this is nothing but 20 c x 1 by 20 to the power x 1 by 2 to the power 20 actually. So this become 1 by 2 to the power 20 plus 20 c 13. 1 by 2 to the power 20. You keep doing this, this 20 c 20, 1 by 2 to the power 20. Correct? So if you take 1 by 20, 1 by 2 to the power 20 is common here. This becomes 20 c 12 plus 20 c 13 dot dot till 20 c 20. And that is my answer. Simple one. So this guy is tossing a coin and get to find probability that 12 or more than 12 times he is giving, selecting two options, correct? So in a multiple choice question with three possible answers for each of the five questions, there are five questions and is going to five. What is the probability that the candidate would get four or more correct answers? So there are three possible options, right? So the probability of success that is correct is one by three. And probability of failure is 2 by 3, obviously, because 3 possible options, so 1 by 3 can be correct, 2 by 3 can be false. I am looking for condition where 4 or more, that is probability of x equal to 4 and 5, because there are 5 questions at the max 5 can be correct. So I am looking for this plus this. So this becomes 5 is the n, c4, what is the p, p is 1 by 3 to the power 4, q is 2 by 3, plus 5c5, 
p is 1 by 3 to the power 5, q is 2 by 3 to the power 5 minus 5. This is 5 minus 4. Correct. So if you solve this, you get 11 by 243 and that is my answer. That is my simple way of solving this question. Correct. So you have three possible options. The probability of success is 1 by 3, failure is 2 by 3. You define the, the probability where at least four, I mean four or five questions are correct, and that's what we call using Bernoulli's trial. Suppose x has a binomial distribution b6 1 by 2. Show that x is equal to 3 is the most likely outcome. When you say x, this guy, that means my n is equal to 6 and my p is equal to 1 by 2. That is what it means. And from this I can find q also. q is 1 minus 1 by 2. That is 1 by 2. I am asked to find that p of x is equal to 3 is max. Where n is equal to 6, p is 1 by 2, q is 1 by 2. That's what I have to prove. So let's find these values. Right. So let's see uh, the value of what you get is uh, p x is equal to x is nothing but n. 6 c x p is 1 by 2 to the power x q is 1 by 2 to the power 6 minus 6. That is nothing but 6 c x 1 by 2 to the power 6. Correct. So if you see p of x is equal to 0 is nothing but 6 6 0 into 1 by 2 to the power 6. So this is anyway common for all. So I'll, I'll focus more on this into uh, okay, I'll write this 1 by 2 to the power 6 x is equal to 1 also if you see nothing but 6 c 1 1 by 2 to the power 6 p of x is equal to 2 if you want will be 6 c 2 1 by 2 to the power 6 p of x is equal to 3 if you want will be 6 c 3 1 by 2 to the power 6 p of x is equal to 4 you find this is 6 c 4 1 by 2 to the power 6 p of x is equal to 5 you find that is 6 c 5 1 by 2 to the power 6 and p of x is equal to 6 you find this is 6 6 1 by 2 to the power 6 that's what it is so if you see the values this becomes 1 into the this is a constant I'll assume this guy is constant now 1 into k this becomes 6 into k this becomes 6 6 c2 is 15 k 6 c3 is 20 6 c4 is again 15 6 c5 is again uh, 6 and 6 6 6 is again so if you see this guy is maximum because k is again a positive number, right? So get in the so this guy is the maximum. I can see that for x is equal to 3, this is max. And that is what I have to do. Correct. Let's take an example. Find the probability of getting 5 exactly twice in 7th row of a die. So it's throw of die, it's independent depends, so it's a Bernoulli try. So my n is 7. I have to get exactly 5, right? So I have to get P of X is equal to 5, where my success is uh, getting 5. Success is getting 5, that is uh, 1 by 6. And my failure is 1 minus 1 by 6, that is 5 by 6, right? Because success is getting 5, correct? So my success is 1 by 6 and failure is 5 by 6. I have to find P X is equal to 5, there is nothing but n c x n is 7 c x that is 5 exactly 5 right p is what 1 by 6 to the power 5 q is what 5 by 6 to the power 7 minus 5 correct find the probability of getting 5 exactly twice sorry exactly twice this is 2 actually so i'm giving the wrong thing this becomes 7 c 2 1 by 6 to the power 5, 5 by 6 to the power 7 minus 2. 1 by 6 to the power 2. Right? Because the formula is n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x. Right? So n is 7, x is 2. So you solve this, you get 7 by 12 into 5 by 6 to the power 5. And that is my answer. Okay? Because I'm looking for exactly twice, getting 5 exactly twice. So here x is equal to 
Let's take the last example of this Bernal style. It's known that 10% of certain articles are defective. So find the probability of the, uh, that the random sample of 12 articles, n is equal to 12, 9 are defective. So x is equal to 9. So it says that defective I have to find. So let me assume that success is equal to defective. So probability of success will come out to be 10%. That is 1 by 10 and probability of failure will be 1 minus 1 by 10 that is 9 by 10. Correct. So my here n is equal to 12 because 12 articles. I am looking for x defective, 9 defective. I am looking for x is equal to 9. So this becomes n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x. What is the value of n? 12 x 9 p 1 by 10 to the power x that is 9 q is 9 by 10 to the power n minus x that is 12 it's 9 to solve this is nothing but 22 by 9 q by 10 to the power 11. and that is my answer thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.